Well, a lot of parents wonder, what the heck can you do when your kid is being bullied? How can you protect them? Because as a mom, you want to, right? Well, there's one celeb mom who is fighting back. TLC's Chili made headlines this week after the blog Media Takeout went after her son. And thousands of people are now joining her campaign to stop cyberbullying. Chili joins me live on the phone. Chili, you hear me okay? Yes, I hear you. Appreciate you calling in. Tell us what this blog posted about your son. <laughs> Um, well, actually, that wasn't the first time they had my son on there. The first time was, um, you know, comparing him to another celebrity's uh, child, which is not cool. You know, it put my son in a positive light and the other child in a negative light, but it's wrong. You know what I mean? And then you have people that make comments and, uh, you know, uh, because of, you know, how he's dressed or whatever, and then he made they put him up there again, insinuating certain things, you know, because he it was a picture of him and his girlfriend. And I became livid. I didn't, I just went crazy, you know. And so from that point on, I decided to um, be a voice for this because it's something that we as parents have to fight regardless. And, you know, he's, he's a teenager. He's not an adult. And he should never, ever be on anybody's blog for nothing. You know, so sure. And when they said these just, things about him, how, you know, you were livid, right? You're you're fighting back. How did Tron react? I mean, he's 16 years old. That's a pretty fragile age. What did he say <laughs> to you? What did how did he react? Well, the thing is, my son, you know, obviously understands what I do and what his father does. So, you know, he has grown up in the business. So I, I've always, you know, been clear with him as far as you know how just people just say things sometimes some people say things just to get a reaction so he kind of understands but he was understanding from looking at what people say about me or anybody else in the business that are you know who, who are grown that he knows but not him so of course he it didn't make him feel good you know he was shocked you know what i mean and that's sure. not cool you know you have people coming up to you at school and you know, asking, man, did you, you're on this site. Did you know about that? And, you know, and he's shocked. He's like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, mm -hmm. that can't feel good as, as a kid. And, Not you know, we've reported so many times on these cyberbullying situations and these kids that take their own life. So I can understand where you mm -hmm. would be freaking out, right? Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. So Absolutely. You, well, you started this petition, petition on change.org. How many people are supporting you now? Where does it stand now? And what do you hope to accomplish with this, Jilly? Um, I'm not sure where it stands at this point because, I mean, people are continuing to sign it. And I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep fighting until, you know, more, I want more people to join me so that these blogs will, you know, think twice about putting people's kids up there. Like, you just can't do that. Say whatever you want to say about me, but when you talk about my kid, I turn into Mama Bear, and I don't play. I do not play about my baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> under, hey, it, look, if you want to stay on the line with us, we've got, yeah. we're talking about a couple other examples. So, Chili, if you don't mind, hang, hang with us because you can pipe in yeah. and, and weigh in as you like. But just this weekend, supermodel Chris. Christy Brinkley defended her daughter from what she calls Twitter trolling. A lot of people call it that. She told the Daily mm -hmm. Mail she's tired of online bullies tormenting her daughters, especially 27-year-old Alexa Joel, Billy's daughter. Brinkley says mm -hmm. Twitter trolls slammed Alexa, saying she looks like her father and sings yeah. like her mother. I mean, it, people are just it's brutal. Absolutely not okay. And I don't understand they are what people. Yeah, I don't understand what gives people the right to think that it's okay to do that to to a child. It doesn't make any they sense. Would, this, no, but this Here's is what I want to know. Hide, they hide behind these. Yeah, yeah they're cowards. Yeah. They're, they're, they're cowards. They would never, ever say this stuff to your face, ever. When they is the, do it. When's the law going to catch up with all this, Drew? Because I can't tell you how many times, I mean, all of us here talk about horrible things mm, we've right. read about, you know, us yeah, on these blogs right, right. and things that aren't true. I mean, Lynn, you and I talked about that a few months ago yeah. when we were going through some things. You know, when's the law going to catch up and hold these people accountable? Because it ruins families. It really does. Does, and it hurts. It hurts. You know, we're having a hard time in the law keeping up with technology literally almost on a yearly basis. Every time you think you're where you need to get, it gets something happens. Mm -hmm. you, you think you're dealing with texting and driving and Google comes up with glasses and now people are driving with glasses mm -hmm. on. Lord. We can't seem to keep up and it's something that needs to be the focus of legislatures 
rather than arguing over silly things that the Democrats and Republicans are arguing over as we speak. Mm -hmm. They need to focus on the well-being of children mm -hmm. and the safety and of children. And not just celebrity kids. This is a problem for all kids. Everybody. For all kids, yeah. absolutely. And Chili's doing that. Chili, yeah. thanks so much. Yeah. And by the way, the editor of Media Take uh, Takeout has removed the posts and apologized. If you want more information about Chili's petition, just go to hlntv.com slash raisingamerica.